Welcome, greetings, fellow humans, and if my voice is particularly croaky, it is morning. So, enjoy. <laughs> I'm here, sans tea. Uh, because someone tagged me, and I tried recording this video at least four times before this one. So let's hope this one I can finish. Um, it is a, not a booktube newbie tag. It was originally made by... <coughs> by the clever folks. I shall put the link below. And I was tagged uh, by the wonderful William, the bold book geek. So, eight questions. Let's go. Question number one, how old is your channel? Uh, I began my YouTube channel in June 18, 2015. Um, and from bumbling, awkward, uh, meandering, videos I've gone down to only making bumbly awkward videos so it's progress um, but yeah uh, the, the first time I did a video was after the 2015 Puerto Rico Comic Con I wanted to say thank you to people and not just a written note on the blog I wanted to say thank you so I said thank you that's pretty cool uh, what are my favorite videos to make uh, I actually enjoy making book reviews because it's a challenge. And people say, oh, they don't get many views. Okay, so they don't get many views. But to me, it's a challenge to sell a book without telling you what the book is about um, and not offering any spoilers. And I think that's an interesting challenge. I do like the tags. And I, I actually found it tedious but very fun. Uh, one tag I did that I had to do a question and take out two pieces of paper and come up with an answer in the moment it was pretty random and I like random um, I like all of those and I don't know I just like anything that starts a conversation and I even like the videos that I that I play music because I, I feel like a rock star not really um, question number three what is one piece of advice you would give to someone wanting to join booktube I actually have a couple pieces of advice one be yourself the easiest way to live and it's the easiest way to book to I mean I see a lot of people that have their YouTube persona and that's completely fine that's completely fine um, but keeping up that act I think eventually tires you down um, you know it's like well tell me blah, 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 and you know the entire video feels like that and I go like is that how you talk in real life <coughs> and some people are actually enjoyable, while other people, you go like, that looks really forced. So my recommendation is to be natural. Uh, second off, interact with people. If someone, you know, drops you a comment, I don't care if you have one subscriber or a million, um, do your best to reply to every com uh, comment, because, you know, if not, that, that kind of comes off as a dick. Move. <coughs> People, people have channel envy, channel uh, and audience envy. Don't focus on that. Focus on doing good content. And if you have five people that comment regularly and other people who enjoy it, that's that's more than fine. The main thing is to have fun. You know, I do this because I, because uh, it's a fun way to get to know more people and let more people get to know me. And not just the author, me, not just the guy who has the books and is an indie author. No, the, the dude. The dude that you're going to see at a convention or, or a book, whatever, in his booth, that's me. You know, I don't wear an ascot and then go like, uh, because I'm an author, you must, you must kneel before me. No, no, I, and I hate people like that, honestly. I, I, working in advertising, you deal with a lot of divas, and divas suck. And the last piece of advice is going to tie into question number four. The last piece of advice, if someone seems off, please block them. Because, um, if, you know, uh, go with your gut. Uh, through Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Facebook, and the blog, I've interacted with hundreds and possibly thousands of people. It's not just the followers. Yeah, I mean people who have left a comment, retweeted, uh, conversations, hundreds or thousands of people. There's one person in particular who was not pleasant. Um, I've had people that unsubscribe, and that's completely fine. But I said it would tie into question number four, so question number four. 
since joining have you run into any for unforeseen challenges yes a person who was harassing <coughs> a very unpleasant person who is not mentally well uh, i have several friends who who have mental conditions from being bipolar to manic depression to to different things and they are lovely people they're they're dealing with their things and i never judge and they never judge back and that's the only thing i could ever ask from a friend um i've been i've been fortunate enough to be there for people who who needed a helping hand or a friendly or a friendly voice uh, to hear or, or someone to, to interact with i've been very fortunate to, to do that because i think it's a very important thing but one case that probably if you see like you know thumbs down odds are really high that it's this person uh, but for months upon months uh, from one social media platform to the other just harassing and it, it was really hard um, to not take it personal and say you did your best um, because this person def definitely has has issues and but and I can handle any issue but when it turns violent and you start attacking people that that not only follow me but are friends people who interact then there's a problem and you know from the get-go it felt off so my recommendation <coughs> is that if someone feels off block them um, question number oh that was a doubt oh. but it's true and it's something that the, I'm sure that a lot of people have had to face and it's something that happens you know if you're in a if you're in a public forum eventually something like that can happen and it did happen and it was very frustrating very frustrating because I always try to have a positive impact on the lives of people that I interact with uh, I, I leave a lot of comments I watch a lot of videos I read a lot of blogs I read a lot of books and I try to always be either constructive or positive because for the longest time I was very negative and you know that takes a lot out of you and people don't want to be around you so um, more than anything you're not happy when you're bitching all the time so I, I i decided to make that shift about seven or eight years ago and i think it was for the better i feel i feel a lot happier being being me and not being me pissed off um question number five uh what is a favorite book series you've read because of booktube i will actually start uh reading uh the dark tower series thanks to emily kate uh, I will give a shout out in the tags at the end. Uh, and, and but <coughs> I will be reading that, and I will be reading a collection of poetry by Badger Clark, uh, recommended by Rebel Jess. Um, anything else that I I've been I've been incur I, I I have certain books, and people have gone like, oh, you haven't read it, and you have a dude read it, you know. But I, the Dark Tower I specifically bought finally. I've been dicking around with the idea to read it for years. And Emily Kate was so was so enthused by that series. And she's doing a, um, a Goodreads group readathon. So and I'm 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 behind. But I I want to read. I want to finish the three books that I'm working on now. But that's actually another video I have to talk um, because I read a lot slower on the Kindle than I do a physical book. It's weird, but it's true. So those, and actually, um, thanks to someone I finally read who gifted uh, The Little Prince, I, I read The Little Prince uh, last year, and it was an amazing read, and I'm going to read it again this year, and again next year, and so on and so forth. Um, question number six, overall, what is your favorite aspect about BookTube? The conversation. Uh, if you take BookTube, out of YouTube, the comments left on YouTube and gaming channels and all of those other things are horrendous and people who are awful. And the community of BookTube, there's a lot of dialogue, there's a lot of interaction, there's a lot of respect and support. We're all book geeks and, and we stick to our own and that's cool. Um, and I've gotten to meet a lot of really interesting people from around the world. So. And that's something that I enjoy in all social media platforms. Uh, the thing is that I, I've met a ton of people in on Twitter, on Instagram, on Google Plus, a um, ton of people. And every audience is different. That's that, I think that's the coolest aspect of it all. 
but with booktube i can put a face and a voice to to the people that i can call friends and that's that's pretty awesome and that's a beautiful thing because <coughs> although younger people have have not gone through the culture shock that is that is the internet i remember being 15 and 16 and being addicted to icq and chatting with people around the world and and wondering what that person looked like and how they sounded like and with booktube you don't have to wonder we're all connecting you know this way and you can see how the person uh, expresses themselves orally and how they express themselves uh, uh, in, in writing and i think that's a really cool thing um question number seven want to spread the booktube love give at least one newbie shouty uh newbie shouty newbie a shout out i'm still sleepy I would like to give a shout out to Sage from Sage Knows What's Up. Uh, she's a cool cat and she's starting up her channel. Interesting, interesting perspectives. As for who do I tag? Uh, <coughs> uh, Brit from Brittany Reads and Brit from uh, Girl on Kindle Fire. I normally tag both of them because I don't know, uh, you, you know why, why, why settle for one Brit? And they're both very lovely and very different have very different channels, very different personalities, and both are very nice in different ways. Both are very genuine, and I also appreciate that. Apart from them, Karen from Run Right Reads, <coughs> my Caribbean sister, um, very lovely booktube, author tube, uh, runner. Um, Emily Kate, uh, whom I mentioned before, that recommended uh, The Dark Tower effusively. She has a very lovely channel, and she has some really fascinating insights. One of the best channels that I've that I've seen, and you know, y you see that she posted something, and you see a book review, and you're gonna get some really interesting insights. That she's very cool. Um, Cherry Walker also very lovely. Does nice book hauls. Also an interesting person. And Siomi's Book Tales um, because we need more Puerto Ricans on BookTube. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tag and my groggy voice. For now, peace, love, and Mikey Rose.